A warm greeting? Today is Thursday, September 26, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. In this video, I will be giving a brief update on the forecast related to Hurricane Helene, which is now very close to the Florida Panhandle and is expected to make landfall early tonight, passing over the city of Tallahassee. As we can see in this visible satellite animation, Hurricane Helene has continued to strengthen throughout the day just as predicted, and during the last hurricane reconnaissance flight, maximum sustained winds of 120 miles per hour were found. As a result, this hurricane is now a Category 3 storm. Currently, the eye or center of circulation is passing just west of the city of Tampa, and will continue its trajectory northward, eventually entering between the Florida Big Bend and the Florida Panhandle. Also, note that the circulation of this system is extremely broad, and tropical storm force winds have been impacting the Florida Peninsula throughout the day and will continue through the night. In the Tampa Doppler radar animation, we can clearly see the center of circulation and the eye of the hurricane. For now, the strongest downpours are affecting the western coast of Florida and also parts of the northern part of the state. So far, no significant rain has been reported for the rest of Florida. At this time, Tropical storm conditions should be felt along the west coast of the Florida Peninsula, and some heavy showers will continue to move through the region. Additionally, if we look at the infrared satellite animation, we can see how the system continues to show signs of strengthening. Although it is still projected to make landfall as a Category 3 hurricane, we cannot rule out the possibility that it strengthens to a Category 4 hurricane before entering just south of the city of Tallahassee. In this image, you can see the extent of the tropical storm force winds affecting the Florida Peninsula, and in red, you can see the extent of hurricane force winds that will impact northern Florida near or over the city of Tallahassee, and eventually parts of southern Georgia. According to the official trajectory from the National Hurricane Center, we are quite concerned that the center of circulation will pass very close to or over the city of Tallahassee tonight, and eventually move north, also affecting it with tropical storm force winds. We are talking about two important cities in Florida and Georgia making it very likely that significant damage will be reported. In this image, you can see the tropical storm and hurricane warnings. In blue, the tropical storm warnings extend from the Florida Peninsula and across the state of Georgia, South Carolina, and parts of western North Carolina. All these areas should expect some tropical storm force winds. The hurricane warning extends from the Florida Panhandle to parts of southwestern and central Georgia. In the counties colored in red, hurricane conditions are expected overnight. Several hurricane reconnaissance planes have been investigating the system throughout the day, and during the last mission, you can see that each time the plane passed through the center of circulation, it reported a barometric pressure that continues to drop. This is the clearest evidence that this hurricane continues to strengthen, and at a fairly rapid pace, making it possible that it could reach Category 4 status. Here you can see the projection of wind gusts overnight as the center of circulation moves northward. In red and orange, the tropical storm force winds that will impact nearly the entire southeastern United States, particularly in the north-central Florida area and southern Georgia, with some sustained hurricane force winds and gusts of up to 130 miles per hour, especially along the coast and near the city of Tallahassee. By Friday morning, the center of circulation will move over North Carolina and regions of Tennessee, where tropical storm force wind gusts could also be reported. Thanks to the system's rapid northward movement, the expected rainfall totals in Florida should not exceed 4 to 6 inches. However, in areas further north, including western North Carolina, northwestern South Carolina, and northern Georgia, rainfall could range between 4 and 8 inches over the next 48 hours. Much caution is advised due to the potential for flooding across these states. The storm surge continues to affect much of the western coast of the Florida Peninsula, and the water levels will continue to rise through the Florida Big Bend area, where a storm surge of 15 to 20 feet above the average sea level is anticipated. Therefore, it's important for everyone to stay away from the coast, as this storm surge could be potentially catastrophic. Well, this would be the last video of this special coverage. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Also, remember to click the bell icon to receive notifications when I post new videos. I'll see you later. Goodbye.